we're right. not live. Y'all, I'm dragging today, so we're not doing a live. I didn't get a lot of sleep. Um, so we're gonna pre record this video and take a nap. <sighs> That's good. We're tired. We're worn out. We are. We've we done a lot of sleep. all the things. No, I've not shown them part, part of, of Dallas. Things. Not even some of the things. All Not even the things. a tiny bit of the things. One hundred percent of the things. Oh, I guess I should switch camera angles. So we're gonna do a second layer pour. So if you have a piece that you don't really like and you want to change it up, this is what we're gonna do. Anyways, cue the stripper music. We did this piece a while back, not a fan of it, so today we're gonna make it fabulous because it's kind of boring. It just looks like three fishes swimming heading that way. So I went ahead and sanded it down so you can see all those like scuff marks that are on it. Don't be nervous about it. The first time I did that, I was like, oh, what did I do? But now I know it's gonna be better after the second layer. So I went ahead and pre-mixed my resin. This is Art Coat by Stone Coat Countertops. You can get it from our store at artistofdeath.com or you can go to stonecoatcountertops.com and get it and use our code artist, nope, it's y'all. Y-A-L-L, all caps. No apostrophe. Mm -hmm. No apostrophe slash punctuation and et cetera. So it's great stuff. It's a one-to-one -one resin. I went ahead and mixed my part A, part B, stirred it for three minutes till it's fully incorporated and there's no swirls. You see the bubbles in there, but that's fine. We're going to handle that. Un minute. I think I, I think that was two different languages. Ein minute is what I meant to say. Sorry. I got my German and my something else. So, that's fine. so what colors are we doing? Um, stone cold countertops white. This mm -hmm. white. We are doing resin art from colorart.com, red raspberry tint, one of the dry tints. Mm -hmm. Another dry tint called Bahama Mama. Yes, there we go. Look at that pretty. Okay, the white color. Come on. Oh, and I should show you the red one. And then a just rising pigment paste, bright blue. Okay, guys, come on. Look at that. Wow, that's like in your face right there. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Um, we don't have the resin art in the shop yet, but it's fine. Right. Okay. Yeah, the tint, there's other resin art forms in the shop, but not these translucent tints. Yeah. I'm very excited to see how those work because I haven't used a powder that was translucent yet. Like, if you want a yeah. translucent powder, you put like less powder in it. Less than an eighth of a, a teaspoon. Okay. I know, I see. In oh, 25 yeah. ounces. Mm -hmm. So, this is this white. You don't want to use that much of this particular pigment in your resin. You just want to use enough to make your resin opaque. Using too much, you're just going to waste product and your cells aren't going to stay. There's no surface tension. So maybe too transparent, but that's good. Cool. We'll make it work. It'll work with the tints because they'll be able to, they'll be more visible. Because mm -hmm. at least they'll have that white color on top. What? That's an awesome color. It's no shimmer. Um, I will have these in our shop soon. I'm putting just an extra scoop because I want to test this transparent claim. This looks like you can't really pick it up on the camera, but it, it's like a cool, like the most beautiful Caribbean type of blue. Mm -hmm. With just that out, like the teeny tiny bit of teal green in it. 
So it does kick up a little bit like a regular powder would, but unlike how the other resin arts do. You know how like for mm -hmm. other stuff? How they just kind of melt into the resin? Yeah. So this kicked up just a little bit. But you do have to mix this like it's a true powder. Yeah, it takes a little bit more mixing than a paste, which is one reason why I like a paste over powder, because I don't have to worry about, I don't know if you guys can see any tadpoles on the side of the, the cup. It is transparent, it's, it's chunky. I'm gonna bestow this upon you as a team player situation. I always put a thin layer of clear resin onto my resin pieces, and that's for two reasons. I like um, having something down before I add my color resin, my tinted resin, because it helps to facilitate movement across the surface more easily. And also, it allows you to see your base layer through your top layer, it's and really it creates a little bit of depth. So I could, maybe if we warmed it up, it would help break up these little particles that are trying yeah. to stick together. Mm -hmm. If you guys have used these resin art transparents successfully, what do you like? How what do you do? Like, post in the comments and say. Give us some suggestions on what you do to get rid of the particles that don't want to break up. AKA the tadpoles. I'm going to open this red raspberry. It's an awesome color. It's brighter than it shows on there. It'll be brighter on this thing. Yeah, that's more accurate. Yeah, it is. I wonder if we put heat on this. Like, heat on the floor and it's still a I don't know, the heat would melt. I don't know, here. Sure. Okay, I added a little extra to this one too. Well, maybe we just add them out. too much for because a lot of this I was explaining in the videos, like it's only like an eighth of a teaspoon for so much. So maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Leslie? Us. Well, this one's mixing in a little better. Well, it's still got some chunks in it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This could be operator error and I may be revisiting this product. But it doesn't hurt to try and see what we can do. I mean, maybe it'll be different when it's possible. I love this bright gold by just resin. It's like molten. It looks like Midas was liquefied and put in a jar. No more touching for you, Midas. That's right. And then that means no change in tires. <laughs> and also that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying not to overload the resin. It's very important not to overload your resin because you can tell it's potato. It will and it might turn into marshmallow fluff and that's not a fun time. And if you don't know what marshmallow fluff is, just put too much product in the resin. I'll answer your question. What you get will be marshmallow fluff. Yep. It's like, take a marshmallow and put it on a microwave safe plate and just watch it through the door while you're microwaving it. Perfect example. Mm -hmm. Can't pour with it. Some people have had success with like putting a little bit of alcohol. like. 70 proof or higher. Proof. Percent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my life. I need to get some proof. 
Anyway, so here we go. So I have the Bahama Mama Blue, the Red Raspberry, which is like a magma. And it is very magnet. And then the white by Stone Coat, and then the gold by Just Resin. I have no idea what direction I'm going to go with this, but we're going to do this real quick. So doing this, I'm just popping some of the bubbles that I mixed in. And I'm thinning out the resin a little bit to make it more easy to maneuver and manipulate the tinted resin. Did you need a rag? Also, there's a lot of pups in the house, so we're going to have some extracurriculars. Sweet. So, since everything's going this way, I'm going to go this way. That looks like murder raspberries. I know. It's very it's very less magneta than what it shows in this jar. It looks more like wine fuchsia. But even in the cup, it looks more pink. Yeah. It's probably because of that gold undertone that's there. Oh. oh. I'm very interested to see what it looks like against the white. Like, if it's pushing it over. Mm -hmm. so easy to use. You just need to make sure like you have the pencil width of resin touching the seriously. 
Good job. It's enough. That is sick. do so much with a swiping machine. Look how you guys. And then some heat. I wish you could see this in person. You know how everybody says that, like, you know, Eric comes out to say it too, like, oh, I wish you guys could totally see this in person. Oh, we'll do a, a true color video. It changes it. it seeing it in person is so much better. Like by miles. Ah, mm -hmm. I love how it feels like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so rainbow up here. Because when you use any derivative of a gold or a yellow, a blue, and a red, you'll get the things berries. like this. So it is very transparent. And those little Samples are gone. They are gone. So I'm gonna say this this tint is legit. I'm gonna see how well it sets up. Mm -hmm. The striations. Yeah, underneath. Mm -hmm. So we'll do a true color video of this one tomorrow, but super pumped with how it's looking right now. I'm gonna run and take it into the dust free zone before anything gets on it. All right, oh, it's fine. She does all her own stunts. Tressa has Mimi. Mm -hmm. Tressa is Mimi. She's done. That's a wrap in the box. Down for the count. Resting my eyeball. Mm. She gives zero fox. She does give zero fox because she is Tressa the fox. Oh, no, no, no. You think two, two is enough? Yeah. We'll do a smush if we need to. Mm -hmm. Doing coasters is a great way to get rid of the rest of your resin. I don't know if you guys watched our video yesterday, but coasters out of here are some of our best sellers. I mean, and really, what better way to utilize leftovers? Yeah, utilize leftovers. And let's say somebody likes your painting, but maybe they either A, can't afford it, or B, would like to have a matching set of posters to set out when they have guests to mm -hmm. And they make excellent gifts. You know, during Christmas time, I sell so many posters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm just trying to cover Anything that is raw tile. We have a video out on how to finish the back of these coasters, and I will see if I can link that in the description box for you guys. So now that everything is covered, we're going to heat it and probably just use the heat gun. After some gold. Fetch it off of um oh. Yeah. So maybe it's just towards the bottom. Yeah. I think so. I do have a couple of 
the little things. I'm going to take them out with this. Oh, this is Oh well, I'll put it in the true color video we put on Facebook. Alright you guys, we're going to crash and get some Z's because I haven't had any Z's this week, which I have loved every moment of it. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I'm here today. Anyways, you guys, please take time to read all these things and join us on all the social medias. Is get some behind the scenes action. You can see what Jeff's up to tonight if you follow us on Snapchat. Hi, Rachel. Come here and say hi. Come here. Mm, know it. it. So, announcement: we're expecting four more paws. April 2019. I think I said that right. Oh, I know. Mooney's a friend, and. Then why Mooney's not? A friend. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you guys, we kind of want another. You never know what someone may be going through. And check out all those things. Follow us on all social media to see when we go live, if we change, whatever, and whatever we're up to. <sighs> Something else? Okay, can I get down? So yeah, we'll see you guys on all the other social medias. And tomorrow we are going to go live early. I think Jen and I are going to do like a 48 inch alcohol ink. We're just going to lay it out on the street in front of, in front of here and just spray paint on top of it. That's an idea. That, there was no truth to that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, with that being said, we'll see y'all mañana. Join our Facebook group, Are You Still Deaf? Mm -mm. ATDs, four people, for updates on when our live will be. I'll go ahead and make an announcement in there. Make sure you answer the question. If you don't answer that question, oh, to join the group. Yeah, that's to yep. make sure that you're not a robot and or spammer. Okay. Anyways, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow mañana. Bye. I said that. This.